Avia News is talking to Mr. Thierry Baril. He is the Chief Human Resources Officer for EADS and for Airbus. Good news in a world of gloom. There are 4,000 new jobs within Airbus and another 1,000 jobs in EADS that need to be filled in 2013. We are absolutely lucky to be in a company with such a big visibility for the future that we can hire more than 5,000 people. We are recruiting in all categories. It's a lot of engineers, but not only engineers, but different key competencies, which are, for example, stress, uh, structural stress for uh, our materials, composite design, lean, uh, that type of uh, specific skills, which are a little bit scarce on the market and not so simple. Okay. Um, do you feel that current uh, university engineering programs uh, prepare uh, students for an insertion into the workforce? And, and what differences do you see between the various countries that you have? Yes, more and more we can get on the market with different competencies we already have. Uh, in Europe, first with the four core countries of uh, EADS Airbus, I mean the UK, Germany, France and Spain, uh, but also the rest of the world. But just thinking about Europe, I think also about Italy, where we can find that type of competencies, having in mind that for the time being, in terms of uh, engineers, Europe is able to produce, sorry for the word, 9,000 uh, uh, graduates a year, when we need 12,000 graduates a year for all the aerospace industry. Fortunately, Airbus is uh, really attractive and we get all the individuals we need. Airbus is conducting a more intensive recruitment drive in certain territories including Italy. Here are the reasons for this. The reason is very simple. We have uh, identified that there are very good skills in Italy in terms of aerospace uh, capabilities, but also in the automotive industry. And when I was mentioning, for example, the experts, lean capabilities, we can really find in Italy such competencies available for the aerospace industry, where we have really continued to make the progress compared to the automotive Mr. Baril has this to say about what is being done to improve the core competencies of existing staff. It is a permanent effort. Uh, we have a training program every year about uh, 100 million euro. We are investing a lot also in the anticipation of the potential gaps of competencies we may face in the future. And during the last five years, we have really anticipated at the right time to pick key competencies which were needed by the company. And I'm very happy to say that today we are not facing any trouble in terms of uh, competencies available in the company. We'll try to continue in that direction in the future. Okay. Well, I'm sure any engineering graduates uh, that view this video uh, on YouTube will be very excited. And, uh, I expect you'll be hearing from them. Thank you very much, Mr. Baril. Uh, Thank you very much, and see you soon. Of course, you can find us on Facebook at Galvez.com. <laughs>